There's a moment about a month or so ago I caught myself. I was standing at a crosswalk walking home from work. I was waiting for the light to change and I had the instinct of course to like reach for my phone but this time I didn't pull it out and the urge was still there but I kind of like paused for a minute. I smiled and I really just like stayed present and I had this realization that moment that I felt like I'd kind of broken free and not in some like silly dramatic like throw your phone in the lake kind of way. Believe me, I still post daily on social media. Heck, I run a marketing agency. I'm about as techie as it gets, but I noticed that I'd created space and I really felt like my phone no longer had a grip on me. And in today's episode, I am gonna show you exactly how I set up my iPhone to make this shift possible. We're talking about focus modes, notifications, lock screen setups, and systems that are gonna give you more clarity, creativity, and momentum throughout your day. I wanted to make this as easy as possible for you. So what I did is I created a worksheet that outlines the exact steps that we're gonna cover in a checklist format. I linked it below in the description so you can download it and you can basically visualize everything that we're gonna talk about today. Now, before we dive in, just a little bit of context. My name is Kevin Kamis. I am the founder of LaunchKit. We are a marketing agency here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. We work with local businesses to provide websites, CRM, photo, video, social media, digital ads. And personally, I'm a huge nerd for productivity. So I have a ton of fun making videos like this where I get the chance to share tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. All right, let's break down how I use focus modes to protect my time and attention. This is one of those iPhone features that is so simple. And when you get it set up the right way, it's gonna be one of the most valuable tools you can't live without. So the first thing you need to understand to understand this concept is that there are seven focus modes. We've got do not disturb, fitness, mindfulness, morning, reading, sleep, and I saved the best one for last, work. I know this kind of sounds like a lot to set up, but believe me, each one's designed uniquely for a different part of your day. And I'm gonna walk you through how I set up each of them so that you can do the same and apply this to your own life today for free. How's that for a combo? All right, I figured we'd start with do not disturb. Ironically, I don't use this one. <laughs> I would delete it if I could. It's the default ones, so you can't delete it. Um, I find the custom ones that we're about to get into way better. So how about we start with fitness? Fitness mode kicks on basically automatically when I start a workout on my Apple Watch, whether that is a outdoor walk, a run, strength training. I also do a lot of Apple Fitness Plus classes. And when this turns on, it's gonna adjust the notifications and screens. So. Notifications, only Ellen and Ring security can call me and I can only get notifications from Ring. That's it. The reason for this is I used to be the guy at the gym that would like go to change my song like between sets. And then somehow I'd end up on Instagram looking at stories, like three minutes would go by between sets and I wasn't even working out. I was kind of just like bouncing around between distractions that it wasn't good and fitness mode allows me to really stay present during my workouts. And it's really shifted my mindset of exercise. It really is a treat that I look forward to every day where I get to disconnect and really just focus on investing in my body. You can adjust the home screens. I don't do anything with that with fitness because, well, I don't even open the phone during the workout. So I don't need to do this. We'll get into some of the home screens in, in some of the following modes. All right, number two, we have mindfulness. This one is pretty much identical to fitness, but it's a little bit more even locked down. The only thing that can get through is calls from ring security and ring notifications. No one else can get through on this one. I'll use this mode when I'm doing something like either like meditating, journaling, if I'm in the sauna, if I just wanna like completely block out all the external noise, mindfulness is my go-to. The other weekend, Ellen and I were up north on a, like an unplug weekend trip and this focus mode was on like the entire time. It was awesome. I would highly recommend trying this out. All right, our third mode, it's gonna be morning. So morning mode is gonna run every day from 5.55 a.m. to 7 a.m. It's gonna turn on automatically. And for me, this is about protecting that peaceful space between when I first wake up and starting my day. So people who can reach me at this time, I've got Ellen, my parents, Ring, for the apps, it's only Ring and Tesla, because yes, here in Michigan, we have to preheat our cars during the winter because it gets very cold. Anyways, I also customized the home screen on this one, 
when I do open up my phone in morning mode, it switches to this home screen where I can only see the weather app. I've got a calendar widget, and then I've got a few, let's call them like non-addictive apps. They I have zero urge to like scroll on these apps. I can contrast this one with the old me where I used to like roll out of bed, open my phone, I'd be hit with like a flood of notifications. There'd be emails, previews, news alerts. It was honestly like chaos. And now my mornings feel so clear, so quiet and really creative. A lot of times I have my best ideas during this window. All right, mode number four, reading. Reading mode is for, well, you guessed it, when I'm reading. This mode's gonna automatically turn on when I'm reading a book on my iPad using Apple Books. I'll be honest though, I'm usually more a paperback book person, um, but the digital books are clutch sometimes. That trip that I mentioned a little while back, we went up north, I didn't have time to get a new book before we left for the trip, so I downloaded Slow Productivity by Cal Newport. Perfect book for the weekend. So this mode, reading mode, it'll activate. So reading mode, when it is on, only Ellen, mom, dad can call me for the apps. I've got Google Chat, HubSpot, Phone, Quo, and Ring still available to notify me. Um, I do this so that I can still be reachable by my team and clients, but the social media noise, email noise, all that is completely shut out. I'll set it up this way because a lot of times I am lucky enough to, to get in a reading session in the afternoon on weekdays. I want to focus on my book, but I also want to be there for my team to support them if anything comes up. Then, you know, for example, let's say I'm like reading on the weekend. This is when I'll usually actually use mindfulness mode when I'm reading. That way I get total silence. And that's the beauty of these modes is once you learn what each of them does, you can basically switch between them intentionally. All right, let's talk about mode number five, sleep. This one is crucial. So the scheduling part is tied to the Apple Health sleep schedule. So for me, it's gonna automatically activate at 8.55 p.m. and then it's gonna turn itself at, off at 5.55 a.m. I can get calls from Ellen, my mom, dad, and Ring. Notifications only come in from Ring and Sleep Cycle. Sleep Cycle is the alarm that I use. It actually goes off on my Apple Watch, but since the focus modes sync from your phone to your watch and even your Mac and iPad, that's why I've got that set here. This focus mode uses that same stripped down home screen that I use in morning mode. So that way, even if I grab my phone towards the, you know, right before I'm getting ready for bed, I'm not gonna see inboxes, news, anything that's gonna like pull me in. It's just very calm. I think it's so interesting that in today's day and age, we have basically assigned a lot of the smartest people in our country to go and work on building these apps to basically rope you in and keep your attention. These apps succeed when you use them more. So their job is to keep you hooked. I think that our job then is to just understand that and build a barrier to protect your own attention. And that's exactly what these focus modes do. They create space for you to be able to have your own thoughts. They create space where you can do your best work and perhaps create your best relationships and ultimately give you the best energy. All right, quick pause. If you're enjoying this content topic, I would really appreciate it if you'd let me know so that I can understand which topics to make more of. I'll let you in on a little YouTube secret here. If you click like and subscribe on this video from the YouTube Creator Studio, I can see which videos brought in the most subscribers. And that's like one of the most clear indicators that the audience got value from this specific video topic. So therefore I would make more videos just like this because I feel like I've got a lot more to share. I kind of just need to know like what direction to go with this uh, to help keep myself on track. So in exchange for your subscription, my promise is that I will work tirelessly to bring you better and better educational content every single week. So. Let's get back to the episode because so we got one more focus mode and it's the best one yet. All right, last mode is work mode. So this one's gonna automatically turn itself on at 7 a.m. It's gonna shut itself off at 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. So during this time, Ellen's the only person who can reach me on my personal number. It's not like a knock to anybody else. It's just me prioritizing staying focused on the work at hand. For apps, it's basically all of my work-related apps. So. There's no like social media and there's no news. There's also no email in here. I think I should probably mention email at this point. I don't get any email notifications by design. I treat my email like physical mail. I will check it once per day. I respond to all the messages and then I'm done. 
So everybody still like gets a like within 24 hours, same day, whatever you want to call it, response from me, but I'm not like constantly ping ponging around, like checking my inbox. Same thing applies to social media. I use an app called Metricool and basically allows me to pull together all my inbox from YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, like everything gets pulled together. So then I can just hop in, respond to all my DMs or comments in one batch. And I think this is one of the key things of how I've been able to I feel like get more done in less time. I feel like this is how I have the mental energy to you know, build this business from scratch. I can also be present for my team members, my clients. I also still have time on Thursdays to make these weekly videos. I get to spend plenty of time with Ellen and I feel like I have space for new ideas. I had wanted to make this video because I have set up these focus modes for myself a while back and they've been great. And recently I've been talking to some of my team members about applying these principles in their work routine so that we can all be more mindful about the work we're doing. And if you're a business owner or a team leader, it's like one thing if you do this, but it becomes 10x as powerful if you can lead your team to do this as well. And believe me, I understand that not everybody can just go like full monk mode. If you are a on-call doctor, you obviously need to have your emergency contacts be able to reach you. But even in those cases, you can filter out the noise. So you can set it up to only receive the signals that matter. That is what I've done in my work mode. So like during my work day, my signals are gonna be my direct messages from my direct reports on Google Chat. I can get phone calls on Quo from clients, and then I can get inquiries on HubSpot. And that's it. Everything else can honestly wait. And that doesn't make me like unreachable or annoying to work with. It's making me more effective as a business owner. You don't need to live in a cave to reclaim your focus. You just need to take control of the settings that you've probably never touched. Focus modes are how I stay off like the hamster wheel and actually move things forward. It's how I've gone from being just reactive to very intentional. And once you get a taste of that clarity, you're never gonna wanna go back. The action steps for everything we covered are in the free worksheet that are linked below. You can use it to build your own system. And if you wanna dive deeper on this topic, the next video I recommend you checking out is one that I made last week about how I plan my work week for maximum output with minimal burnout. So check that one out and you can see exactly what I do starting every Monday morning.